Today I want to talk to you about the trophy mats that they finally added back into the game or into the game in patch 1.2.2, which was what, like four days ago or something like that. And there is an issue with it though, in a sort of an issue. Well, one of the issues is that the drops are absolutely stupid difficult to get for an extremely minor upgrade. Because apparently, whether it was this patch or some other patch, I'm kind of iffy on the details on that, but they did nerf the trophies. So the trophies are the Angry Earth Trophy, Corrupted Trophy, Lost Trophy, and Ancient Trophy. Now the material we couldn't get was the material that you need for the major version of these trophies. Now before, the trophies used to give, I think it was like 5% or 6% for the this level 1 version. And then it got another 2%, another 2%, up to 10% damage increase by having the trophy. So I guess if you have 3, that would be 30% damage increase. Well at some point recently they nerfed that, so now it's 3, 4, and 5%. So the last upgrade takes you from 4% damage bonus to 5%. So by getting three major trophies and putting them in three different houses, you're only getting a 3% damage increase over just having the ones that were already in the game before. Now, why is that an issue? Well, because the rarity and difficulty to obtain these trophies is so absurdly difficult for just a 3% increase. Now I wanna show you this post in the forums. Okay, so this guy, he got four of the uh, seal from farming Mordici the Mortican or Mort Mortician or whatever, Mortician I think might be the word. Uh, it took him 35 hours of AFK farming, meaning that he was just waiting 90 seconds for the respawn and then 10, 20 seconds to kill it and then would just kind of tab out for that long and then come back in and kill it. He did that for 35 hours total. 33 of the hours, took 33 hours to get two seals and then got super lucky randomly and got uh, two more in two hours. So it took to see uh basically it took 35 hours to get four but basically it was 33 hours so depending on your luck like if you're really unlucky you know you might grind for like 60 hours to get uh three of them or something like that it's possible it's totally possible for that to happen and that's on an enemy that has a 90 second respawn so one and a half minutes so that's already pretty bad you know most players that's probably an absurd like any casual player will never obtain it naturally they either buy it or they don't if you're a casual player, you will never have the time to grind these out yourself. Like, you're not going to come home from work and spend your two hours grinding for three weeks straight just to get three of one trophy. Now on to the next. Most players are going to do that. But what makes it worse, what makes it way, way worse, is that the next enemy that he's going for, the Surgeon, has a six-minute respawn. Which means that it's going to take four times as long to get it. So in his case, if you got the same luck... It'd be about 140 hours of gameplay. And the issue with that is apparently in patch 1.1, they nerfed what these trophies give. They used to give 6%, 8%, and then 10% for the major one, if increase in damage. So with three of them, you could have 30%. But then they nerfed that to 3, 4, and 5%, so the max is only 15% damage. So getting that major trophy only gives you 1% more damage. So then you have to ask yourself, is it worth a 140 hour grind to get 3% damage to whatever, you know, Ancient or Angry Earth or something like that? For any casual player, the answer is going to be a resounding hell no. <laughs> now, some players who have a lot of time and really enjoy grinding, they'll want it to be hard because, you know, that's what they like. Like players, I know people who played RuneScape and have 9,000 hours to get all skills to level 99, and there's a sense of accomplishment for that, right? Uh, but in this case... So somehow I feel like this is a little different, but regardless some people aren't gonna be happy about it. some people want it to be long or even longer But man for any normal human being playing this Totally absurd totally absurd like I'd be down for this if instead of nerfing the damage They'd increased it so that having three would give you like 50% damage or something that really makes the grind worth it but Right now at, at just a measly 1% per trophy that grind is hella not worth it at all now, I'll link to this post. It also has these links to the all four of the items. And apparently, the, uh, what is it? The, the the other bosses, I don't know the respawn. Apparently, one of them was two minutes, one of them six, one's a minute and a half. I'm not familiar what the fourth one is. But either way, depending on your luck, you'll get somewhere between, you know, if you're really lucky, 10 hours on the fast ones, all the way to 200 hours if your luck just is really bad and you get unlucky. And the rumor is that these items are not affected by luck. But with that being said, 
I asked this guy because I'm familiar with this person, and he had full luck gear on. So in case you guys are wondering, maybe he just didn't have luck on, maybe luck affects it. Whether luck affects it or not, we can rule that out in this because this guy had a full set of luck gear on, every single luck thing that you can have basically within reason, and it still took this long. So kind of ridiculously long. So if, if luck doesn't affect it, that means it should have taken even longer than 35 hours to get these for the fast one. So for the long one, if luck does affect, you might be talking 300 hours to get it. Now again, I will link to this post in case you want to have this as a reference. You can get to any of these links so you can look at these items in case you weren't even familiar with them at all. Uh, so yeah, if that will help you out. But the big question here, is this even worth it? Like why, why is it like this? This is so insane. Uh, this person in particular was asking for them to either make it so they all respawn in 60 to 90 seconds or increase the chance a little because it's totally insane how long it takes. Uh, and this kind of brings me back full circle to a point that I often make on this YouTube. Well, in recent times I've been making on this YouTube, which is I really feel like the devs should be focusing on making fun things to do when the grind is over instead of finding ways to delay the grind. Like it just seems like the last two months, their main focus has been how can we make it take even longer to get done with the game instead of accepting that the game takes a certain amount of time to finish and then finding fun things for players to do once they've completed it. Like in a lot of other games, there's fun things to do. I mean, obviously the first thing that comes to mind for me would be, you know, in World of Warcraft, there's ranked arenas or uh, there's more battlegrounds to play, things like that. Uh, they're doing a good thing with the mutators. It's good PVE content. They said they're gonna add a leaderboard on that. So having a leaderboard on PVE content, that's, that's another good thing to do, something fun to do once you hit end game. Uh, so I really would like to see personally in this game, them focus on fun things to do at the end game instead of how can we make you spend 3000 hours to get to the end game. So like you know, like I said, mutators, good start for the PVE players. Uh, hopefully I can think of more PVE player stuff like that in the future. Uh, now for PVP, PVP players, I personally would like to see some kind of cross server ranked game mode of something, something for people to do, something for people to climb the ladder. Like I would love to get on every day and climb the ladder, try to get to GM or something on some PVP mode, that type of thing. That'd be really fun. I would love to do that. Uh, so it's something that you can come back every day and say, I get on new world every day because I have fun grinding the leaderboard. I have fun trying to rank up. I have fun doing PVP. I have fun gathering materials for something. I have fun doing any of these number of things as opposed to right now for a lot of players. It's I get on new world every day because I haven't finished the grind yet and I want to finish the game. And it's like, that's, that's, uh, I don't know. That's my opinion though. You know, everybody has their own opinions, but I personally would like to see more fun at the end game instead of 4 million hours to get to the end game. Well, that's all for this video. Just wanted to share that with you. So you guys know what you're getting into before you go into that obnoxious grind, trying to get those trophy materials. Uh, and hopefully, maybe someday they will nerf that a little bit, make it a little bit easier to get that. If you found this video helpful, though, consider subscribing to this YouTube for more new world information, guides, stuff like that. Also, I have links in the description of this paragraph, or right, description of this video below the first paragraph, uh, links to my Discord, my Twitch, and my Patreon, if any of that sounds interesting to you guys. But yeah, that's the situation, though. So now you know how difficult it is to get those trophy materials before you jump headfirst into that grind.